In this video, we're going to talk about uh, artificial lighting in uh, Cinema 4D using V-Ray Render. So, in the previous video, we explored a little bit the features concerning the natural light or exterior lighting and uh, some of the rendering parameters that you can use for exterior renderings. So, in this video, we're gonna change the topic a little bit. So, we're still gonna talk about lighting in uh, V-Ray for Cinema 4D, but we will use other techniques and another setup. So, in this case, uh, we're gonna leave the exterior part and we're going to move into an interior so that we can uh, experiment with other lights. But later we will come back talking about the sun and sky, the exterior lighting and image-based lighting or IBL and HDRI. So I'm gonna go here now and I'm gonna search for grass. Okay, so you can use the, the grass here if you want to well, this is something that we didn't do in the previous video, so I'm just showing you that if you want, you can just use the Cinema 4D grass with the V-Ray render. It's going to look okay. And also, you have the grass generator in, um, in Cinema 4D that you can use. And right here, you can see the, the actual sun. And just to remark the fact that if you use an HDRI you don't need any light you are illuminating the scene with just a simple image so this is a really interesting technique really popular because you don't need to use any light but the lights are inside the image so in this case you can see the sun there that's inside the image and we are illuminating with that so we saw here various experiments that we did with the environment and how to use also the history panel, which is pretty useful if we want to keep track of our uh, passages or our steps and how we can go um, and improve our uh, scene. Now this is uh, an interior scene here that we already set up earlier. And we can use this one here to study a little bit more the interior lighting. So I'm going to use the points here to enlarge my interior scene. And if you don't know how to use these Cinema 4D tools, you can find a video course uh, in Cinema 4D in our channel. And also you can write comments and questions, uh, also suggestions for other users. So I'm enlarging here the interior and I want to create a spline well a rectangle will be fine I want to create a background for my photographic studio I want to set up a photographic studio and I'm gonna show you how to do that quickly so I will scale here the uh, box or the rectangle in uh, approximately to 130 centimeters and then I will convert it into editable so that I can then select the points and I can delete some points to create a kind of a background for my studio and I can uncheck close spline so I have one part that will be open I just need an L by the way so you can create that L as you like and then we go here and we go to round or chamfer right click chamfer click and drag and gonna create a nice curve for your uh, background there so another thing I need to do here is to make it uh, 3d so I'm gonna name it here well I you can name this whatever you want uh, I will call it L but doesn't matter and we go here generator extrude click and drag and place the aisle inside the extrude generator and then increase the offset to have um, enough space because you're gonna be placing the character inside 
that uh, area. So that is going to give you a nice background. So let's convert this now in editable so that we can continue to edit. We can select the points and we are now in polygonal modeling. I want to make this a little bit higher and a little bit longer. And then we will place a subject that we will illuminate using some artificial lights. Now you can use this really quick setup if you need to do uh, advertising or photography or TV series, movies, whatever you want. This is a, let's say, a universal uh, set that you can use for many reasons. You can do packaging, you can use it for showing your industrial design. Now let's create a new V-Ray material and apply it. We will talk later about materials, but you, you saw there how you can create a material real quick, just a standard material. And now let's search for a subject that, or more subjects that we want to render, so that we want to place inside our studio before we actually get into the artificial lights. So I'm gonna go here to the asset browser of Cinema 4D, go to Humans, and you can see here we have different folders. And in my case, I want to use the, not cutout because these are 2D, are not 3D, so I need some 3D uh, subject, and also you can place something concerning industrial design, like a smartphone or a photo camera or a laptop, TV screen, whatever. You can use this setup really for anything. Also, automotive packaging here. You have uh, a lot of uh, assets in Cinema 4D that you can use to customize and create your own idea of packaging and advertising so you can really experiment with a lot of different assets here and also you have furniture you can place some furniture you have everything divided by category so just browse around a little bit and don't forget that you also have the Chaos Cosmo browser so you can use both you can use objects and subjects from the and props from the Cinema 4D asset browser, and also you have people here in Cosmos browser and other objects that you can use. So I will just select one of these, and also here you can go to electronic appliances and you have laptops and other stuff. I will probably use more than one to make more examples here, but just showing you where to get a lot of stuff, a lot of things that you can use to test your studio. Now I'm going to use this model here and click it on the green dot, green circle as usual, and then drag it in the middle of your scene there, on your, of your photographic studio. Go to full geometry if you want to see it also with the textures and you want to have a closer idea of what the render will look like then we will rotate and now let's see what three-point lighting is about so let's go in Google here and just make a quick overview of what three-point lighting consists in so it's basically a set of three lights that you can position you can uh, place anywhere you want you can create your own customized effect